doing well. And I just went to my doctor's appointment and tell me my arm still hurts. They took blood work. <laughs> Este tema para la banda de Chonaca y malditos pechones de la loma. Vengan las guitarritas, por favor. Esta canción que hicieron éxito. El difunto Miguel Martínez. Samurai. Para el tema que nació en Nueva York. Hoy nos recordamos cómo no. Baila, goza, goza. En vez que ayude a mi papá, está nomás haciendo risas allá. Good morning, guys. I'm officially got kicked out out of my house. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, guys, um, a couple of days ago, I posted um a post for y'all ladies. Este, hace un año, es exactamente hace un año. Um, I started a weight loss. Me volví vegana. No longer eat meats. Este, puros vegetales, no pales etcétera, ¿no? Y por esa cuestión bajé mucho de peso y he dejado mucha ropa, dejé extra large, dejé large, dejé, um, I mean extra large, dejé extra large, 1x, 2x, 3x, que ya at the moment I no longer need. Entonces me puse a comprar y dije, para el nuevo cambio que he tenido, I should like make some changes in my in my house también, you know, or my apartment. So, hice esa idea de, de, you know, to post it up on my social media. Si alguien es un size 2X, un, un 3X, un X, porque la estaba regalando esa ropa. Y la verdad, nunca pensé que me van a tirar muchas personas. Y sí, este, incluso, um, Estuve escombrando, encontré unos tenis por ahí. Otros tenis que dije yo, ne, yo creo que sí le puedo dar un poquito más de uso. Que sí me quedan esto tanto de grande. Pero en fin, um, hoy es el día. Hoy a madrugué. Hoy dije, voy a dejar estas cosas. Ojalá que mi ropa les quede y les inspire. Para que sí lleguen a perder peso igual como yo. Obviamente no van a tomar el mismo camino. Porque yo sé que es difícil ser vegana. Pero a la misma vez digo yo, I want to be that inspiration para que ustedes puedan lograr esa meta. Um, la verdad, este, estoy en shock de cuánta ropa saqué. Este, hay cosas que digo yo, le, yo no sabía que tenía en mi closet. Y hay un, unas que sí tenían, like, new tags. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, me pongo a pensar y digo yo, he gastado tanto dinero en tanta ropa. Y tal vez ni me la puse. Y tal vez nomás me la puse para poner. Dice, sí, 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 está bonita. Y luego, luego la cambio, ¿no? Pero igual, como siempre he dicho, estoy este, agradecida con Dios. Más que nada porque digo yo, Él me ha dado la oportunidad de trabajar. Y de ahorrar mi dinero. Y decir, ¿sabes qué? Me lo merezco. Merezco gastarme este dinero en esto. Porque al fin y al cabo sé que hoy en, hoy en día alguien va a utilizar mis cosas. Y lo van a usar para buenas cosas, like, lo van a usar para que se lo pongan, ¿no? que nomás está derrumbado en mi casa y nomás está collecting dust, so guys, buenos días, again thank you so much y vamos a empezar este little journey y por prioridad yo no voy a grabar aquí, because digo that's not, that's not nice, pero sí um, esperemos en Dios que todo salga bien hoy y maybe si encuentro más cosas en, mis, en mi closet este tal vez yo las pueda regalar igual la razón por todo este cleaning es que estoy uh, remodelando mi, mi apartment y estoy you know, pintando mi, mi apartment so por eso es que I'm trying to get rid of the stuff but again guys thank you so much and I hope to hear from ya hi 
Allison. We're back with the lady who doesn't upload. <laughs> I was trying. I've been trying to upload, but it's, it's just a very been... busy lady. Yeah, guys, if you only knew. <laughs> Dick. Yeah. A lot is going on in one day, and it's like, wow. Anyways, like, wow. what time we woke up? We woke up at 6 30. Got ready. It is currently 8.54. Yeah, 8.54. And where are we? <sighs> in the dirty Bronx. <laughs> Has Suze been calling Brooklyn dirty? <laughs> no! No, we're not at the dirty Bronx. We're actually here at Washington Heights. I think, no, Washington. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It says BX13. I, th I, I think we're in the Bronx, girl. We're in the Bronx, and that's it. That's all you guys gotta know. Well, we know every part of the Bronx is ghetto. Well, it's not about ghetto, but it's, it's kind of dangerous. It's ghetto. And yeah, because we've been here only like for six minutes, and we're already like knocking doors like. Just kidding. It's because people like just look at you so weird. And, and another thing, I feel like when when people don't know your car, don't recognize you, they tend to like just get timid. You, yeah. Or not even timid, but worry like who the fuck is this or who's the new person on the block. So right now, I feel those vibes. Like we're turning in this way, turning that way, and it's like this. What happens when you're from Queens and Brooklyn? <laughs> I'm living in the gay. I love that song. Anyways, we're probably gonna go eat because we're hungry, and that's a bad idea. He's doing. He's just gonna mess up his thing. Oh shit! Hot water, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's hot water. I think it's a gallon or something because this doesn't look like water to me. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're gonna get out of here soon. Everything went well. We delivered what we had to deliver. Um, we are missing one person. We've been calling them, so that's why we're waiting here. And it's only six minutes away from here. So, she doesn't answer. Yeah, she doesn't answer. And, and you know, we kind of, like, want to eat something. So. so, yeah, we'll see. We're waiting to get recommended to a place to go eat. Either a diner, IHOP, whatever the case is. I searched one up, and it looked pretty scary. <laughs> pretty so, spectacles. Like, Girl, no, no, no. not me, not knowing how to talk. And the reason why we're going to go eat, one, because we want to, you know, I don't want the person to go all the way to my house, especially with my schedule. It's just going to be not fair. So I feel like maybe if I stay around here until she answers. You see? It's so fucking nice. You? She's like, no, bitch. I want to drive. Yeah, we're going to drive too. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. We'll meet you when we're eating. I we vlog there. I. <laughs> So we at the Bronx and we're gonna go eat. I hope. I hope. We have to look for a decent place. It's that way. <laughs> this way. Los que estamos aprendiendo a manejar, dice la Alison. So I'm checking the menu, guys. And there's nothing vegan friendly. She chose this place on me. I think I'm just gonna have a melt or a turkey melt or the kids menu. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you're vegan. Kinda. Kinda. Maybe we could go for an egg. No, we can't go. No, you, you guys know what happened to me last time I ate eggs. Even my niece tells me, she's like, Do you have no what happened when you ate egg? Don't eat egg. <laughs> they have a chicken and veggie salad. We have made it so Uh huh. Well, I think I'm only gonna eat one and then all this. One, girl. They're big, girl. They have like. There's like I'll six probably take it home for mom and dad. Okay, we got our food and we're about to eat. Thank you. So I'm taking these home. I only ate, left this. I ate some of the grapes. Allison also taking her to go. Pretty much when you're going out, we just waiting to get some cereal. This is what happens when you're not dying and come to eat. I'm just kidding. This is when I'm not dying. <laughs>
Copyright purposes, so we're gonna have some funny singing. We're gonna go drive, people. So we'll see you guys there. teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Go for a huge score during the big game with Ben and... So guys, I'm gonna go get one of the best donuts in this neighborhood um, is called Peter Pan. So I'm gonna go right now. I'm excited. So you guys, I got the donuts. I got 10 donuts. I was gonna get 15, but the white cream coconut, they ran out of it. And that was the main purpose of me visiting this spot. I hope my future, I had it likes it. I mean, I love these donuts because, you know, it's been around since I was born. Came much more famous when the película de Spider-Man. So, let's see how it tastes. My futura comadre would tell me how it tastes. So, so yeah, I have a lash appointment today. Um, heading over there downtown Brooklyn. I'm gonna have my coffee, by the way. Just 
You guys, so ahorita las cosas se ponen más difícil. Right now, uh, Ford está experimentando algo que se dice low inventory. Las personas que saben, las camionetas Ford Transit, 150, 250, 350 cargo van, crew van, este, passenger wagon, yo. Hoy es, fue, hoy fue el último día donde los clientes pueden hacer una orden y esperar su vehículo de 3 a 6 meses. Ahora, los headquarters de Ford dijo, that's it, febrero 11, si la, la, los clientes no ordenan su vehículo, van a tener que esperar hasta el 2023 para ordenar su vehículo. And it, and it shakes the fucking ground, porque es like, how the fuck we gonna survive now? Like, we gotta fucking sell other vehicles. And, and even so, está limitado el, el inventory. So it's like, solamente yo estoy esperanzada en los vehículos que se hicieron preórdenes de hace un año que lleguen ahorita. Because that's the only solution. I don't see any other way of, around it. So it's like, what the fuck? Muy bien que me iban el negocio de sales. Y ahora, pues ahora estoy pensando, hay que buscar otra chamba part time, primero yo solamente sea de este mes, pero así como dije hace un rato, como cerraron la habilidad de poder ordenar factory orders de una camioneta, makes las cosas un poquito más difíciles because, imagínate like antes se podía ordenar, tardaba tres a seis meses, de ahora ya no se puede ordenar o sea well, again yo siempre tengo la mente positiva Um, ojalá este chip short solamente sea un transcurso de 4 o 5 meses o si es posible nomás un mes porque de por sí lo que es enero y febrero esos, esos meses son muy flojos um, hace un año yo creo que nomás salí con en, fe, en, en enero creo que nomás salí con 10 y en febrero nomás salí con 11 so, de por sí estos meses son un poco flojos pero again it, 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 makes, it makes the ground shape because you're like F y ahora qué chingados voy a vender o, o qué se va a vender Because, like, o qué chingados le voy a decir a los clientes cuando estén en el teléfono y diciéndole ya yeah, tienes que esperar hasta 2023 llegan a ver Camila like, what the fuck y ahora los vehículos que se están vendiendo allá afuera obviamente los que tienen los dealerships los están dando de 10 mil a 15 mil 25 mil más so it's like you know es estresante para la misma vez again como dice mi papá fin del cabo no, son, no nos quedamos con las manos cruzadas lo bueno que tenemos nuestra van lo bueno que you know my dad was smart y pudo sacar su camioneta and now it's just about viendo que, que la economía empieza a subir which I doubt it you know let's be frank pero you know hay que estar con la mente positiva and let's hope for the best 2022 this is our year um Again, I was just telling my, my partner que yo, like, me gustaría hacer otras cosas. Y si es que llega el punto de que tengo que dejar mi trabajo, yo, I have done it before. Like, yo no me espanto. Just, yo lo, acepto los retos. Si we have to open a business selling food, fuck it, I'll do it. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, can't, you can't stay, you know, with your hands hoping that everything no like you gotta fucking move and do something you know so primero dios todo se compone for you guys out there you know it's been a stressful week for ford for all the dealerships but much majority on the ford dealership for the simple fact that you cannot longer place a factory order on mustang smock east you cannot place a factory order on ford transit you cannot place a factory order on any of the new merics that are coming out Right now, the e-transit, you know, this is the first electric van. I don't know if they're going to be available for customers to buy. It's just like, like I said, it's the headquarters right now are getting too many orders. They're like, you know what? Stop. No mas. No queremos mas ordenes. So now we got to fucking comply.